guys, um, it's been quite a while since I did a video, uh, mostly because of the holidays and the past week we've been getting ready for a, a blizzard that never really did happen. <laughs> so, um, but I've been doing more with my sewing machine that I have with my woodworking. I haven't had that many, um, uh, wood burning commissions lately. I do have one lady that wants a couple. Um, so I'm waiting for her to give me the pictures for that one for, you know, hers. But, uh, recently one of my husband's friends, um, he knows I, I enjoy sewing. So one day, a couple weeks ago, he's like, Hey, you know, Mary, I got something for you. I need to bring it over. So I was like, oh, okay, you know. So then um, he brought it over. So I'm gonna show you what he brought me. As you guessed it, it's a sewing machine, but let's see what kind it is. And it's dusty. Ta-da! It is a Singer 600. Um, it's not the Model E. It's a Singer Model 600, touch and sew. And it is quite dirty, but um, I'm going to figure out how to clean it, oil it, get it all, you know, ready to go. I think it works, but I have not actually plugged it in yet. The plug looks pretty good. Um... A little dirty, but not, you know, a game changer. It does have a knee bar, which is something that I've never used before. I guess apparently you just put your knee there like that and work it. It does have a, um, I'm not going to get it out, but it does have a pedal that is, you know, tucked in under there. The, um... I forget what they call this. I'm so sorry. Um, is it the needle plate? I don't know. Um, it slides pretty good. And it has a bobbin in there already. And apparently, uh, um, I don't want to do it, but I think you push this down and it will wind the bobbin using your thread that you already have. This is the thread that was on it when he, when he got it. So I know you're supposed to throw away that thread, you know, cause it's old or whatever. But before I take all the thread out and everything, I want to take a picture of how it was threaded so that I can remember. And it looks like it's a normal, well, the normal way that older machines are done. It's not an old machine. This is, this is from 1963. And, um, you know, it's just the normal, you know, which, you know, I'll, I'll do another video on that. But, um, but I think that's pretty good. It looks pretty clean inside of here. It looks actually cleaner than, than my machine that I have in my house which is kind of embarrassing, uh, but um, that is pretty clean. The outside is, is dusty. It will need to be cleaned and oiled and, and everything. Um, the throat plate, I had to, I didn't know what that was until I saw in a video, the throat plate um, goes up and down. I guess that's to, I'm not sure why that is, except maybe to, maybe if you have thicker material to go through. But um, that goes up and down using the leather lever. That's the on and off button. I'm not, I mean, uh-oh. <laughs> and then the different, um, uh, I can't even think today. <laughs> the different uh, kinds of uh, 
stitches that it has and the length. So I will have to, um, I did download the manual for this. It was pretty easy to find. Um, so I downloaded it. I printed it off, you know, double-sided so I don't waste paper. And I'm going to put it in a binder. Uh, but, um, I mean, it's, it looks pretty good. And like I said, the machine itself is from 1963. The cabinet looks really good. I mean, it's it's uh, pretty sturdy. It has um, one drawer, and I do have a button holder, holder. Somebody told me that this button holder is not for this machine. So, can y'all please tell me um, if this is the right one or not, because somebody said it's a different one. It's a, um, this one is supposed to be for the, uh, the slanted. I don't know. I mean, it looks, the book itself says 1967. So I'm not sure, but, um, I do have, have this and it comes with all the stuff. So that's kind of neat. I actually tried to fit it and it fits so i'm just saying a couple people said oh that's not the right one for this machine so we will see that's another video so i just put that in there um i did uh get a couple of um bobbins because apparently this machine takes a different kind of bobbin than the normal ones do well, I'll say normal, but the more modern ones, they're, they're uh, thicker bobbins. And they have this ring around them. Because uh, when you're uh, winding it, um, you know, it helps you make sure you don't wind it, wind too much thread. That actually happened to me. I, I threaded a bobbin once uh, too much, and then it messed up my machine. I had to fix it. It fixed, but, um, you know, that was kind of weird. But anyway, so, um, so this is my, one of my many projects, and I just wanted to show you, um, I'm going to make a, uh, I have to make a cover because it's in the wood shop. And so a sewing machine in a wood shop is not the best idea, but this is the only place I can put it. So I'm going to buy, I'm not going to buy, why well, I'm saying that. I'm going to sew a dust cover so I can put it on top of that. And that's why I had my apron there, at least to keep some of the dust here. The only thing here that's around here is my, you know, wood carving stuff and a few things. So it's not a heavily, you know, dust, dust area, you know, so... It's mostly chips, <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to show you my, my sewing machine, one of three, <laughs> and, um, just want to show you and thank you for watching.